the question goes like this a traffic in a traffic signal the traffic lights the traffic lights at three different road crossings change after 48 seconds 72 seconds and 108 seconds respectively so the traffic light the traffic light at three different crossings at three crossings light in 48 seconds 72 seconds and 108 seconds respectively so 48 seconds 48 s 48 seconds 72 seconds and 108 seconds respectively if they all simultaneously change so all the three lights simultaneously change at 7 30 0, 0. so 7 hours 30 minutes and 0 seconds so 7 30 is exactly then at what time they will change again simultaneously at what time what time they will light again simultaneously so here this light so 730 after 730 730 48 after 730 48 731 36 so this way after every 48 seconds after every 48 seconds this light after every 72 seconds after every 108 seconds this is light so if all the three needs to light together they will be lighting together at the hcf of all the three numbers so the hcf of these three numbers will be 48 72 108 so you can see that all the numbers are directly divisible by fourth table so in fourth table 12 times 18 times 27 times now all these numbers are directly divisible by third table third table four times six times nine times four and six are divisible by second table two three nine is not divisible again third table two one three so i'll get the lcms four threes are 12 12 twos are 24 24 threes are 72 72 into 2 will be 144 144 into 3 will be 532 so 144 into 3 so 300 130 sorry it will be 432 So it will be 4 threes are 12, 12 into 6 72, 72 into 6 will be 432. Now 432 seconds. So all these will light together after 432 seconds. 432 seconds, I have to write it in minutes and seconds. So 432, I will divide it by 60, 7 times 420, 420, remaining is 12 which means after 7.30, it will take 7 minutes and 12 seconds. So, 7 minutes and 12 seconds. After 7.30, they light again together. So, the time at which they light again together is 7.30, 0, 0 plus 0 hours, 7 minutes and 12 seconds, which is 7.37, 12. At this time, they will be ringing together again. This will be the answer for this question. So, there is one question based on HCF after which we will go to remainder theorem question. The question is find the largest number, find the largest number that divides six fifty. Three thirty and five sixty to give reminders two six and ten respectively to give reminders two six and ten respectively. 
now there is a number find the largest number that divides that divides means that comes in the denominator so when i divide 650 by this unknown number i'll take this unknown number as x so 650 divided by x i will get remainder as 2 i'll get the remainder as 2 330 divided by x i'll get the remainder as 6 and 560 divided by x i will get the remainder as 10 sorry i think this number is it's 550 so this is 550 550 divided by x gives you the remainder as 10 now in this case we have to find the largest possible value of x not the smallest possible value largest possible value of x so to do this easily i can use one small common sense so 650 gives remainder 2 means 650 gives remainder 2 means 649 will give one remainder less one number less one 648 will give another one number less zero as the remainder which means i can say that 648 divided by x gives me remainder 0 same way 330 minus 6 which is 324 divided by x gives me remainder 0 you see here 650 gives remainder 2 means 2 numbers before 650 that is 650 minus 2 648 should not give any remainder same way 330 gives remainder 6 means 6 numbers before 330 so 330 minus 6 324 should give a remainder 0 same way 540 by x again remainder should be 0 now find the largest value of x such that it divides all the three numbers so which means x is a common factor for all these numbers and is the largest such common factor so the largest such common factor is nothing but the hcf so i need to find the hcf of 648 324 and 540 now when i try to find the hcf it will be little bit difficult for bigger numbers so you can directly try to find the hcf this way and you will get the answer however for this type of question there is a small trick so what you can do is that you have to find the difference between these two numbers you have to find the difference between the two numbers that is the smallest and second smallest again second smallest and the largest so you find the difference between smallest and second smallest second smallest and largest so 324 plus which number will give me 540 so 540 minus 324 and 648 minus 540 so this difference i will get it as 216 108 now find the hcf of these two numbers alone find the hcf of these two numbers alone i can directly find the hcf here but however here the numbers are easy whenever you are getting a bit bigger numbers big numbers are a bit bigger so finding the hcf from here will take a lot of steps so to make the calculation easy what i'll do is that i'll find the difference between smallest and second smallest second smallest and the largest so this way in, in the increasing order i'll find the difference after finding the difference i'll try to find the hcf of these numbers so the hcf of 108 and 216 you see 108 into 2 is 216 so the hcf of these two numbers is 108 itself so here my value of x the required value is 108 this will be the answer when 32 to the power 32 is divided by 9 so find the remainder when 32 to the power 32 sorry 32 is divided by 9 now 32 to the power 32 i can write this as 32 into 32 into 32 into 32 times divided by 9 now 32 divided by n what is the remainder 32 divided by 9 I will get the remainder as 5. So 5 into 5 into 5 into 32 times. So 5 to the power 32 divided by 9. Now 5 by 9 gives a remainder of plus 5 or minus 4. It is a bit complex for me. So what we will try to do is that we will try to find any power of 5 which gives a remainder of plus or minus 1 with 9. So 5 power 1 by 9 gives a remainder of 5. 5 square 25. So 25 by 9 gives me a remainder of 7 or minus 2 so still i don't get plus or minus 1 next i'll try 5 cube by 9 
5 cube is 125 by 9. This gives me a remainder of plus 8 or minus 1. So here 5 cube will give me a remainder of minus 1. So what I need to do is that I have to write this number in the form of 5 power 3 into some number. So when I write this, I will get the remainder as minus 1 to the power of same number. But here 5 power 32. 32 I can't write it as 3 into some number. So what I will try to do is that I will write 5 power 30 into 5 power 2 separately by 9. Next 5 power 30. Now I will write this as 5 power 3 into 10 into 5 square by 9. Now you group this 5 cube. In the next step you group this 5 cube. Once you group this 5 cube you will get 125 to the power 10 into 25. 5 square is 25. 25 by 9. Now 125 by 9 what is the remainder I will get? 125 by 9 the remainder is minus 1. So minus 1 to the power 10 into 25 divided by 9 I will get the remainder as plus 7. So minus 1 to the power 10 into 7 which is 1 into 7. 7 will be my remainder in this case. So if you have seen this, this question is a bit complex compared to the questions that we had discussed. Here the answer is 7. So there is one more question, one last question given in remainder theorem that is find the remainder when 70 to the power 105 is divided by 13. So 70 to the power 105 divided by 13. 70 to the power 105 I can write it as 70 into 70 into 105 times 70 divided by 13. Now according to the remainder theorem, so the entire the remainder of 70 to the power 105 by 13 I can calculate it by taking the individual remainder and then multiplying them. So 70 divided by 13. So 70 when I divide by 13, I will get 5 times 65 and remainder as 5. So, 70 by 13, the remainder is 5. 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. I will write 1 not 5 times. So, it will be 5 to the power 1 not 5 divided by 13. 5 to the power 1 not 5 divided by 13. Reason is 5 power 1 not 5 is still greater than 13. So, I will again divide by 13 to get the remainder. Now, 5 power 1 not 5. 5 power 1 by 13 gives me a remainder of plus 5. So 5 by 13 gives me remainder of plus 5 or minus 8. I will try 5 square by 13 which is 25 by 13. I will get remainder of plus 12 or minus 1. So here 5 square itself will give me remainder of minus 1. Which means if I write this as 5 to the power 2 into some number. If I write this as 5 to the power 2 into some number. Then my calculation will become very very easy. So, I will write 105 as 2 into some number. But can I write 105 as 2 into any number? I cannot write. Reason is, it is not divisible by 2. So, to make sure that it is divided by 2, I will write it as 5 power 104 into 5 power 1 by 13. So, 1 I will separate. So, 1 5 I will se uh, separate it and rest of the 104 5 I will write together. Now, this 104 I will write it as 5 power 2 into 52 into 5 power 1 by 13. So this 5 square I will group it together now. 5 square I will write it as 25 to the power 52 into 5 by 13 which is 25 by 13 gives me a remainder of minus 1. Minus 1 to the power 52 into 5 by 13 the remainder is 5 itself. So minus 1 to the power 52 is plus 1. 1 into 5 the answer will be 5. That's it.